Let's talk a bit quickly about the New Balance and, and Jound. We've got another pair about to drop. It seems like they've got a long-standing collaboration um, agreement here going on. And so far, I've loved every single release. So, And I also love these. They're kind of done in this olive green, um, new buck suede finish. Let's see if I can get a pitch up to load. There's a big one. And it kind of looks more like a new bucky as opposed to a suede, a bit more flat on the texture. The only thing I don't like about them is the laces. I hate the cord laces. A lot of people do these to kind of give the shoe an outdoorsy type of feel it looks like it might have Gore-Tex on them as well right is that a Gore-Tex label on the side there I'm not too sure it has a Gore-Tex label it might look like a Gore-Tex label but regardless I think a lot of people do these kind of like cord laces to kind of give the shoe an outdoorsy type of mountaineering-ish type of feel but I just think they're terrible to lace basically like if you're going to do um, cord laces you have to have the little um, what you call it the little spring-loaded um, clip that you got so you can just pull the laces through and you don't need to actually kind of la la lace them yourself and tie a knot um similar to how they have with salomons and shit i think that'll work out better but i just don't like the laces anyway they, they look fucking horrible but the only thing that is good with these is that this particular designer laces where it's black and it's got the white dots or the white little threads on them you can get that style of lace in like a regular nylon cotton lace whatever the material is made of laces and obviously that'll work better so if you do purchase them you can probably swap these tubular cords for a tubular set of laces that have got the same designs or flat laces with the same designs i think will work best because i don't really sure i want to because again you can't really knot cords especially if they're kind of springy and got elastic in them they're hard to really knot um so you're either gonna have to buy them your exact size so they don't slip off your foot or you're gonna have to just walk like a duck or like a sneakerhead you know sneakers back in the day used to walk like a duck with a kind of your your toes pointing out and shit maybe it's the only way to kind of get them to kind of stick on your feet but i do like the color combo you got this again like i said olive green or i must say olive green more of a dark darker green on the out on the upper with a mixture of black and i also love the black out because personally for me when you have a black midsole you have to have a black outsole when it comes to new balances there's too much shit going on there to make anything else to make it work so i do like they've got this solid solid black midsole here and obviously you've got the mesh on the other bits and pieces here and i think maybe gore-tex underneath so it's a good mixture of the new buck the leather and the mesh going all on there in one time it's a good little side profile also they look really good i like them they look really really bang i'm not going to lie i love i love the way they look here no idea on the release date so far oh yeah it's gore-tex you got gore-tex there and the model is a 2002r um that's their new model that they're pushing at the moment i really like that i like the kind of um what, what would you call this invisible seam here that's going on in the instep is really nice um and just even the section of materials here right that's a good little mixture of the materials you've got a little bit of maybe 3m here you've got some mesh um, you got the new buck and then you got this little kind of rubber plastic um, heel tab counter thing going on there and of course you've got the little addition of the fucking jound hit oh and if i'm not mistaken also if i'm not mistaken that picture of j cole and drake j cole's actually wearing the jound new balances isn't he yeah he's actually got them on actually the ones that released maybe the ones before last i think that these are 990s or 991s or something i forgot but it's actually got the you can actually see the jound label here at the back so he's actually wearing a pair of the Jowns, actually, if I'm not mistaken, right? There's a label there at the back, you can see. And Drake's wearing, I'm not really, I think Drake's wearing that brand of shoes that he um, has been posting on his Instagram. The ones that are made by a, like a small designer. They kind of look like space boots, obviously, to match his big chunky jeans he's wearing. So he's got like, what was it, um, Chrome Hearts custom jeans they've done. But yeah, Drake was also wearing a pair of Jowns. So Jowns shoes are really doing a ting nowadays. And I do love, again, uh, maybe I would have preferred to have this Jown written on this kind of heel, this heel counter there, so it's on the back heel tab, to be completely honest. But it's nice, I guess, because it looks like that heel tab at the back might be Gore-Tex. So it might be a 3M. So once you shine a light on it, and especially with this white counter with the text, you'll probably you'll probably have this great feature where if you spark, if you probably do a flash on the heel tab, it'll shine, and then you'll have this jound written on the outs. You know, you have a, a clear bit basically where you can read the jound. That might be a good little feature. So maybe that's why they did it design wise. But again, no idea on the release date or when they're gonna come out. But they do look absolutely sick absolutely 